yeah, it's on. We're rolling for now. I've got food from Lidl, from Italian Week. I managed to, to grab some Italian food from Italian Week, from Lidl. Exactly. So I've got this Prosola. I love Italian Week. I've got this salami stuff. Yeah, salami Prosola. This cheese. Cheese. I've got. Now, this isn't the Italian Week mozzarella. This is actually Lidl's normal one. And I actually prefer it than the Italian one. Reason being, the normal one has little pieces of pistachio. Pistachio. In. And the Italian one in Lidl at the moment does not have the pistachio. And I like it with the pistachio. The pistachio, correct. I've got this, but I'm not trying it now. But this is a some sort of pasta cushions and it looks like it's got some sort of gorgonzola and pears so that looks interesting and different i've also got this to try this is pizza with ham and mozzarella and they do lots of other flavors um so i haven't tried those two before i have tried a lot of these other things before but i'm trying it now to give you the lowdown this is some sort of basil and garlic pesto. Not sure if I've tried this one. I have tried this one. This is another pesto. This one's very nice. And this one looks like it's got a bit more textured and ch chunkier pieces. But then there's this one, which is the basil and tomato and almond pesto so we'll give that a whirl and then we've got cookies because we can't have savory without cookies so we've got biscotti filled with filled cocoa cocoa cookies yum and we've got these uh scrotch Scrunchy with rosemary, Italian spin crackers. I have an obsession to crackers. They are obsessed with me and I'm obsessed with them. So this is some sort of pudding. I don't think I've seen this before, but this is chocolate mousse dessert. And there's two of those, so my daughter's going to have to try one. Um, and then I've got these. I think these are like the Spanishy ones, but... It's like the capers inside the little anchovies because I love anchovies. And then there's this, which I don't think I've tried. Garlic oil and chili pepper. Not sure what else is in there, but that's looking a bit different. Um, and I've gone and got this olive oil, which is quite nice for a cheaper olive oil. This was the Greek, the Greek extra virgin olive oil, and it's a nice little bottle. And oh, and these crisps, these are like the lattice type crisps. So these ones, what flavour is it? Pesto verde flavour, flavour. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking and open some of these. And give them a whirl. Oh, and this, these are yummy. These are. Uh, the sun-dried tomatoes and they also have capers and the olive oily stuff so I thought I'd give make a bit of a mini sandwich with some of these and give them a try and whack it on the bread and hope for the best so I've gone and got um, some of these hams and cheeses to try so let's give those a dig first dig into those first I've got a little plate how civilised um, but this bread from Lidl was hot. He was putting out a whole load of like freshly baked stuff, like all of a sudden, as soon as I walked in the shop. So it must have been my destiny. So let's break this bread up, which is lovely. It's fresh. Um, and it must have been put out there just for me. So let's give this a smells lovely so this is that sort of crusty bread that they do in little 
and I love watching the Italian sandwich makers um, and they just like shove everything on the bread and it's all rustic and fun and they squish it all down and then you've got yourself a sandwich heaven heaven sandwich heaven heaven sandwich exactly so what I'm gonna do is where's the other pasta I'm gonna try Shall I try this one or this one or do I try both so first I'm gonna make a sandwich so I'm going to try some of It's very oily, but I love the oily flavours because you know what you can do? Obviously you can shove it in pasta. You can just shove it in anything. Pasta, salad, rice, bread, and it's got all the flavours. But I will give it a little bit of a mix. So let's just slap some of that on the bread here. Then I'll show my concoction. Now I am going to be doing this rustic because I'm in the car. So there's no fine dining with me. This is more like um, on the go type dining. Car life. Car life. Dining. Van life, similar to van life, but car life, exactly. So yeah, the, some pesto is on. Let's slap on some cheese. Now, I think I'm going to slap on some... I'm going to be doing like a bit of a Scooby. I'm going to do a bit of a Scooby Dooby. Dooby dooby sandwich with a bit of this, that, and the other, a bit of everything. Now, what is this cheese? This is called Provoletta. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's Provoletta and they're slices. I don't know if I've had this one before. I don't think so. I usually, when I go to Italian Week um, in Lidl's. I usually get, they do this really yummy mascarpone gorgonzola and it's one of the best gorgonzolas ever because it's got layers of mascarpone and then layer of creamy gorgonzola. Oh my god, it's like heaven. But somebody else snapped it all up and there wasn't any left. So I'm trying this salami, this one. So let's put some of these on. Just gonna do this random. So let's shove them on. What else we got? Let's put the brassola. Why not? They do this brassola, but they also do the other one, which is a bit more like meaty. This one, the texture is a bit more like Parma ham, and the other one is a bit more like. Uh, the meaty one and it comes with a little I mean I know they're both meaty but it's the texture's different this one's kind of like parma ham <laughs> and the other one's sort of more like yeah the other one it's like kind of more like raw if that makes sense so now I'm putting this mozzarella on And this one's got the pistachio pieces. So this one is in the normal section of Lidl. Um, look at that. <laughs> so let's just like kind of shove that in somewhere. God's honest truth. I'm going to give you the God's honest truth. Now... Should I open these? These are yummy, but I'm not going to open them. But these sun-dried tomatoes in this packet with the olive, with the oil, whatever oil that is, and these little, they've got little capers. This particular one, creme de la creme, it's yummy. So I've put the green pesto from the jar. 
and now to make it a bit more flavoursome on the top I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try just two two shakes of a lamb's tail I got it open so this is the the tomato we pasta with with the almonds so let's shove some of that on give it a little twirl so that is how I look at it shove it on the bread shove it everywhere well let's just shove it on the top kind of thing like Flintstone style rustic so yeah that is that but you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to try these crisps now real quick so these are the crisps I got and these are lattice crisps pesto verde flavour so let's put those crap because you know with a sandwich a sandwich you've got to have crisps oh they smell nice that's how they're looking. Let's see what they're looking. Mmm. 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 Damn. Oh, well, good. Mm. they've got the crunch and they've got the flavor it's not like super strong flavor it's definitely there so here's my sandwich layered up so I don't know, that might be nice for some tomatoes and maybe some fresh basil. But what I'm going to do is, so we've got the cheese, the green pesto, the salami, the brasola, the mortadella and the other red pesto. Squish, we're going to squish it. So I believe in squishing sandwiches for extra flavour. And then I might put the crisps in as well. But let's try it like this. Go. Mmm. 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 The bread is really good. If you go to Lidl and you so happen to see them thro throwing the fresh pastry and bread on, grab it. So now I've put some crisps inside the sandwich for extra crunch and more flavour. Um, but yeah, the combos are going together mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. crisps in a sandwich make it it's like one of the best things ever on planet earth it's like heaven but let's put that to one side i'm just going to try a little piece of this cheese on its own just to get the low down of the flavor okay mm. Quite a mild cheese. 
Hmm. You know what? I've got a feeling this cheese would be nice melted. So next time I might try it in some sort of toasty. Because I feel like this cheese is very mild. And I've got a feeling it'll be really good melted. So, next, next up, I'm going to try these crackers from Lidl. Italian fruit thin crackers. Let's crack, let's crack it. And first I'm going to try it on its own and then maybe with a bit of... Oh my God, that's so cute! Oh my god, they're like loads of little bags inside the big bag. Baby, okay, I like that. It means that I don't have to eat the whole like packet to myself. When I'm watching these senders. Whoa. Does that even smell real? That's what it's looking like. Oh my god the hell mm. Mm. the crunch is nice the smell is mm. the smell is strange let's try a little bit of pesto on this is the red one Mm, mm hmm So they taste good with the pesto. Now let's do a little experiment and try it. Let's try it with an anchovy thing. And a little dip dab of pesto first. So here's a little cracker. Here is the pesto stuff, and here is the little anchovy things. Now these ones have a little caper inside the middle, so let's just plonk that on there. I love anchovies. I love the jar ones and the little tin ones, but I also love those sort of salad anchovies with like the vinegar on look how cute my little cracker mm -hmm. so yeah these are okay the crackers on their own and they do have a nice crunch and I like the individual I think they had other flavours. The smell is kind of strange, but they they're, they're, they taste all right. They taste better with stuff on them. Mm. So I tried that. Let's try this. No, I'm not too sure entirely what this is. Can I get it open? So this is something else. This is garlic oil and chili peppers. Looking like that. So this is more jar food with some sort of oil. I don't know if it's got cheese in it, but let's just kind of help it and give it a minute. I love jar food. I'm loving the tinned fish as well. I just think it makes the ultimate like girl dinner, boy dinner, whatever, fun snack kind of meal. <laughs> I love snacky food in general. I feel like I love it more than regular meals. But here we go. Let's give this a whirl. It's got all these sort of like peppers and herbs and stuff. Mmm. And chilli. So yeah, I do taste a bit of chilli in there. I don't know exactly all these ingredients.
it's nice be nice as a, a topper for like bruschetta or to throw on a bit of picky dinner or salad or even throw it in a bit of leftover pasta salad mm. it's very oily um but i like it nice enough i like it so like i'm really dying to get into these biscuits cookie things let's put the crisps on one side For these cookies so these are biscotti filled cocoa cookies they are yummy but let's give them another whirl because different makes do similar ones but let's crack them open and then after that i'm going to try this chocolate mousse thing which looks different oh my god Oh, I am a chocolate person. I do like chocolate. And these have a lovely sort of smell. Like a nice chocolatey smell. And they've got like a foil thing. And they're like... So they've got this sort of nice texture, but they've got this chocolate cream in the middle. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are very nice. Mmm. Let's shove it back in. 